How are you all this morning? James, um, Commissioner. Um, my name is Craig Terrell. I represent uh, Carpon, Maine, T13 R8. We're at the foothills of Bald Mountain. Um, as you know, there's been exploratory mining going out there um, back to the 70s. Um, it's quite a history. It's quite a lot of science that's already been unearthed. Now, we know a lot about it. I believe you folks have all the information on that. It's uh, been kind of hush-hushed, but uh, recently it's been um, surfaced that it is a dangerous um, volcanic sulfide deposit. Um, so I come to you today opposed to the rules um, for some obvious reasons. Um, during the exploration, uh, we witnessed uh, siltation of car pond um, coming down Moose Brook. Uh, we also noticed that the um, excavate the, uh, the early exploration um, pumped out above its tailing ponds that were meant to impound the um, contaminants coming down the hillside, and they ran into Clayton Brook. Um, so the best laid plans of mice and men are often foiled. Um, and we, we lay plans with hopes that um, none of this will ever happen. Um, and I know we're, we're eager sometimes to, uh, to get to what we're looking at and to, uh, to drill down and to drill further. And um, what we bring up sometimes isn't often as pretty as we'd like to see. The, uh, and result from expiration as we have a siltation in um, a um, habitat that's um, considered heritage um, brook trout, brook salmon, I mean, um, landlocked salmon, and, um, and togue habitat. We have uh, a wildlife that, that depends on clean water. We have moose, we have loons, we have uh, lynx, we have uh, otters that uh, all were quite upset at what was going on and didn't have a voice, so I'm here to speak for them. Um, I'd like to see a little bit stricter in uh, regulations that allow exploration. I think if this can happen and it's still ongoing, there's actually artesian wells that are um, spewing out on the top of that mound right now. Um, a uh, acid rock drainage and these haven't been closed, so this, this isn't a finished chapter by any means. Um, this needs to be uh, contained. It should have been closed properly. I know uh, the owners of the mountain um, didn't expect to buy into this mess when they, when they bought it. Um, but as far as um, quality assurance, I'd like to be assured that this would be taken care of um, as far as um, financial, I don't know how um, we can predict the, uh, the future um, tailing impoundment um, rupture. Um, we're on a 1,200-foot, um, uh, well, Ball Mountain is a 1,200-foot um, mountain that, that uh, lays in a hydrologically poor area so that it's a, it's a wetland, upland wetlands. So we've got um, white cedar groves growing um, with their feet wet. We've got moose brook right at the, right at the base of Bald Mountain, um, which is a uphill wetland. Um, when we start um, impounding and the price of metals go up, um, the correlation is fairly obvious in the, in the uh, and the structures that we've seen in the, in the very recent past um, fail. And so if you look at what could happen um, with Ball Mountain and, uh, and the tailings, um, the uh, previous impoundments would have been um, using Moose Brook as, a, as, a, uh, as an impoundment for um, wet mining waste, and, and the tailings would, would uh, eventually end up downstream into, uh, into Car Pond. And we hope to avoid that. And we'd like to see um, rules that, 
prohibit that from happening. Um, let's see, what didn't I touch on? Um, the uh, Yeah, the bottom line is I feel that if we can't come up with best science, best practice, um, best management strategies, then we should put a moratorium on uh, mining permits until we can have something in writing that protects the state of Maine, protects the public lands, and, and um, basically uh, protects our water and our wildlife. Um, I know we're not willing to give that up. Um, and uh, the uh, state of Maine has already spoken on that twice. Um, the legislation is rejected. Um, the uh, proposal of using in and under the waters of Maine, and I don't think they'll go for it again. So um, I appreciate it if um, we gear towards um, our environment and not um, a couple of single uh, individuals that would stand a profit from this um, in the long run. Say. Questions? I yield the rest of my time to my colleagues. Thank you.